Welcome to Arizona State University's Global Freshman Academy. This video will cover the topic, Solving an Exponential Equation by Using Natural Logarithms, Decimal Answers. In this topic, we will be presented with an equation where the variable is part of the exponent and the base will be a multiple of e, such as the following example, e raised to the negative 9y power equals 2, where we are asked to round to the nearest hundredth. How do we solve this equation by isolating the variable if the variable is part of the exponent? Good question. Since the variable is in the exponent, we must start by taking a logarithm of both sides of the equation. Since our base is e, we can use the ln or natural logarithm found on the Alex graphing calculator to simplify this equation. We take the natural log of both sides to yield ln of e raised to the negative 9y equals ln of 2. And using the logarithm of a power property, we can rewrite the equation as negative 9y multiplied by the ln of e equals ln of 2. Since the natural logarithm of e is 1, can we rewrite this equation as negative 9y equals the natural log of 2 to further isolate y? Exactly. This yields negative 9y equals ln of 2. We can further simplify this equation by dividing both sides by negative 9, yielding y equals ln of 2 divided by negative 9. Inputting this equation into the Alex graphing calculator results in y equals negative 0 0.08 after rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but can we do another example? Sure. Let's look at the example problem. e raised to the y minus 6 power equals 7. First, we can take the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation, resulting in y minus 6 times the ln of e equals the ln of 7. Next, we can rewrite the equation as y minus 6 equals the ln of 7, since the natural log of e is equal to 1. We can continue isolating the variable by adding 6 to both sides yielding y equals ln of 7 plus 6. Lastly, we input this equation into the Alex graphing calculator to result in y equals 7.95 after rounding to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I think I understand this topic now, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We begin by taking the natural logarithm of both sides, and then we simplify the equation using the rules for logarithms. Lastly, we input the equation into the Alex graphing calculator to solve for the variable, making sure to round to the nearest hundredth. That's right. 